Robert, good morning everyone. So once again, this is Roberto the Mapig Admiral and I'm your PE teacher for today. So we have now the key of GTA. So demonstrates proper etiquette and safety in the use of facilities and equipment. Choosing a sport. The car, according to Kyle Bar, 2017, emphasized that an activity sport should be chosen based on the individual's preference and lifestyle. He added guidance to consider in choosing a sport. Choosing the sport depending on the type of your temper. Picking the right kind of sport, first of all, you have to pay attention to the type of, of your temper as you... As if you're an account and even tempered person, you should force yourself to play fast before as 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 uh, sport as basketball, volleyball, football, water polo, and so on. Next one is choosing the sport that you enjoy. You may want to practice sports you for various reasons, but your right sports must enjoy you. Don't forget about that. Only if you're fond of visiting a training can. You achieve the desired result. It's also important to feel comfortable during the workout. That's why your sportswear must get the right fit. Choose the sport that fits your lifestyle. Of course, you're always busy as you spend the most of your time at work. At when you start doing sport, you should coordinate with your daily routine. Next one is choose the sport that accommodates your fitness and health problems. If you have any health problems or injuries, see your doctor before commencing the regular practice of sport. In some cases, your doctor even can recommend what kind of sports you choose to improve your health or such training can be a part of the rehabilitation. Let's assess your fitness to improve your health or such training can be a part of the rehabilitation. Plus, assess your fitness levels and fitness goals that could certainly affect your decision. Next one is safety measures to avoid unnecessary injuries, injuries whether in playing games and sports. Diana Moreno and they explained that taking part in any physical activity, it is essential to first observe safety measures to avoid unnecessary injuries. Although certain injuries may not be avoided, most injuries can be prevented by observing and good judgment. She introduces the safety measures to avoid injuries. First is safety equipment. Second is dehydration or hydration to avoid dehydration. Third one is perform moderate. Fourth one is weather condition. So, uh, any questions in regard to our topic for today? So, if you have questions, again, you may comment down below in the comment box section so that I will be able to answer it with the knowledge that I have based on the topic. And also, you may browse on the link, theguidef.com, for, for more updates and information. Uh, so, Without further questions, so that's all for today. And stay home, stay safe, and I hope you learned something from these presentations. So once again, this is Roberto Dumapig Almirond, and I am your PE teacher for today. So this topic is intended for quarter four, week four. Goodbye, everyone, and I love you all.